We are back again and today's topic is why should trading be boring? Now, a few people watching this will be the type of trader that they love the action, they love being in trades, um, they love that feeling of a trade going live, clicking the buy or sell button, which is great. Um, but once you've spent a few years in the market and a lot of people who are new to trading, they haven't been in the market that long. Now, a year, two years is not a lot of time to experience the market and how it moves. I've personally been trading. I originally got kind of introduced when I was 16. I then took it serious from about 18 onwards. Um, so about eight years now. Um, and as time's gone on, the less I trade and the more money I make. So it's it's backwards. Um, but the most people that make money trading that you speak to after a long period of time will most likely tell you it's all about quality over quantity. Now, by taking quality trades, the quantity is going to decrease. Easy as that. By the quantity of trades decreasing, that means you are going to be in the market less. You are going to be taking less trades. You are going to have to wait longer to be in positions. And at some points, it's going to feel like, am I even a trader? I've had it a couple of times where I've had maybe two or three trades in a month. And I've thought to myself, like, what have I done this month? Have I done everything right? Do I need to look at a new strategy? But I've still made money. The months before that, it might be eight to 10 trades, which is great. It's like two, three trades a week. But it just depends on the month. The more trades you are taking, the more you are in the market, the more you have chance of losing that money. And that's what it boils down to. There is not a good setup every single day within the market. And I know there's going to be a lot of people that say, oh, my strategy does this, my strategy does that. I used to take two to three trades a day and it made money. But with all the losses, then the wins, the emotional journey, in the long run, you end up either being burnt out, making stupid decisions because you're in the market more, or your emotional attachment to the market just becomes that much that you are just, you're basically a gambler. You can't go a day without a trade. And... There's going to be some people watching this video thinking, oh, he's chatting shit. Just, just wait two, three years and I can pretty much guarantee that you will not be taking two, three trades a day. It just doesn't work like that. So the, the reasoning for this video is that I just want to basically explain that as you become more mature in the markets and the more experience you have, trading is very boring. It is currently the 13th of the month and I am in my second trade of the month today. Um, it's currently live now. So I've gone pretty much two weeks and I've taken two trades. But my first trade won, I've made money. And the second trade I'm taking now is a risk-free trade because it's using the profits in the open buy on NU and I'm now selling NU. So I can't lose in this scenario here. So... If you are someone watching this video and you know, you're know you new, you, you're trying to figure out the market, just go for quality over quantity. The people who are taking four or five trades a day, I'm not going to turn around and say you are not going to make money doing that because it's not something I do, so I don't necessarily want to speak on it against someone who makes money doing it. All I am saying is from my experience of trading the market and the profitable people that I know, they aren't taking a lot of trades a month. It's all about the best players, preserving your capital, knowing when to buy, knowing when to sell. It's not about coming to the chart every morning, drawing a few lines, and then clicking buy or sell if this happens. That's gambling. You need to be calculated in what you're doing, understand why you're doing it, and then the results will follow. So I just want to basically, like I say, I've met this video to just tell you, trading should be boring. If your trading isn't boring, you are doing something wrong. If your emotions are too high, you're taking too many trades, or you don't know what you're doing in terms of approaching the market. Okay, so I'm hopeful that a few people watching this video may have had a bit of a light bulb moment. Um, if you are someone who thinks I'm only taking one trade a week, it's not good, I'm bored, good. You're in a good position. You're in the position I wish I was in years ago, whereas now I'm finally in the position where I understand it. Um, and it is obviously about just taking the best trades possible. So I'm hopeful, guys, that a few of you have taken something from this video. As always, I'm going to be posting these videos moving forward of me just talking. 
Um, so if you are interested in that, please subscribe. And any topics, please leave them in the comments.